guess it doesn't matter where I park at. Oh. Whew, there we go. Yeah, buddy, look at all that. We're about to hop on this and go for a ride. It's going to be interesting. This will be the first, um, if I can buckle my hang on jacket thing. This will be the first 1000cc Super Sport I've rode. Uh, I've rode a ZX6R 600cc. Yeah, should be fun. It's got a nice crop of itch exhaust on it. Looking forward to seeing how that sounds and the carbon wheels. Got the winglets out front. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the bike. All right. And looks like it's got steel braided brake lines on it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's beautiful, man. Yeah. I'm going to take it easy. <laughs> I don't wreck it and have a ton of people mad at me. <laughs> this, is like, don't, this is the only one they got here. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Ooh. There's my switch indicator. You know, the riding position is actually pretty comfortable. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I'm I'm very hunched over, but that's to be expected on something like this, you know. Okay, this ain't too bad. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, man, it rides good. It's in dynamic right now. Okay. Let's put it in. I don't want it in race. I'll leave it in dynamic. It says race. <laughs> the red line is moving as the engine warms up. You can see it moving right there. It's pretty cool, huh? Very good. Yeah. Get a little bit of revs in. Not bad. Cool. Pretty though. I can flat foot, so I got like a 32 inch thin seam. I can barely flat foot on both sides. I'm gonna try out the quick shifter here in a little bit. Uh, it's cool, you know, it's got heated grips, got dynamic, um, race pro one, pro two, pro three, rain. Okay, we're about to take off. really uh, scrunched up but it's uh, for some reason it seems less aggressive as far as riding position than the ZX6R was but it feels good it's, it's super stable you know it's in that dynamic mode so what he said was in dynamic mode um, when he was explaining the electronics to us before we left off he said that it has less intervention in the ABS and the, the throttle and all that yeah, regarding that, it's got 205 horsepower. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? It's a lot of power. I think the Euro version is 210. Take it from somebody that doesn't ride super sports. This bike is very comfortable. And while the engine was cold, you know, it was kind of herky-jerky and stuff right there at the start. But after it's gotten warmed up, I mean, this thing's a, this thing's a real pussycat, you know? Silky smooth power. You, know, you can't really test a bike like this on the road anyways, unless you're either trying to get your license taken away or wrap yourself around a tree, which I'm not trying to do either. 
four band from a demo event. Wow, okay. So the clutch, you don't have to rev match this thing at all. It's just silky smooth automatic rev matching. So I guess that's a slipper clutch or it's doing something electronically. This thing is a peach, man. I love this bike. It's so easy to ride. This is ridiculous for something with 205 horsepower. I mean, I'm being easy with it, of course. It's probably the best switch gear I have ever felt on a motorcycle. It's very tactile and like the way you would want a switch to feel. It just feels so good. It moves to the spot it's supposed to go to or depresses and then doesn't move anymore. There's no mush. There's none of that. It's just like a mouse click almost. Almost like a mouse click. If that makes sense. Very nice feeling. This model has the winglets on the, the fairing and carbon fiber wheels. And as you can see, there's a carbon fiber fairing right here. Absolutely gorgeous motorcycle. It's like a work of art. These Europeans know how to build a good looking motorcycle, you know. Not that the Japanese bikes don't look good, but there's just something different about the way Europeans do it regarding aesthetics. Clutch is super light, um, has a great feel to it. The gear doesn't have a lot of travel when you mash it down to the next one or pull it up. It's, it's very tactile as well, a lot like switch gear. Very little travel. Um, it's about like a short shifter in a car, you know. It's got uh, collapsible levers, over guards. 14,000 RPM red line. Getting a little bit of heat on my left leg. It's not too bad though. I can feel that fan. The fan feels good. Blowing that cold air right on me. Not trying to drag an eighth over the corner. <laughs> Being real careful with this thing. Not bad. Not too bad. 